1. The Martyrdom of St. George of Alexandria On this day, St. George of Alexandria was martyred. His father was a merchant in the city of Alexandria and had no son. It happened that he traveled to the city of Leeds and attended the feast of the consecration of the church of St. George the Martyr. He prayed to God, interceding with his great saint that he might have a son. God answered his prayers and gave him a son, and he named him George. His mother was the sister of Arminius, the governor of Alexandria. His parents died when he was 25 years old. George was merciful, loving and kind to the poor and loved the church. He stayed with his uncle, who had only one daughter. Who had only one daughter. One day she went with some of her friends for an outing. While they were walking nearby a monastery outside the city, she heard its monks singing sweet, sweet hymns. She was touched by what she had heard and asked her cousin George about it. He replied that those monks had forsaken the world to worship and he guided her to believe in the in the Lord Christ. He told her ab about the share of the cedars or the final punishment and the share of the rectus of felicity. When she returned to her father, she told him that she was a believer of Christ. He tried to reason with her, to dissuade her, and to love her with great promises. Then he threatened her. When she didn't hearken to his words, he ordered that her head be cut off, that she received the crown of martyrdom. Later on, the governor knew that George was responsible for her confession. She, he said to him and tortured him severely, that he sent him to Ancena, when they also tortured him, and finally they cut off his holy head. Thus he received the crown of martyrdom. A diacon, whose name was Samuel, took his holy body and carried it to the city of Manth, El Giza province. When the wife of his uncle Arbedius knew about it, she sent for the body and placed it with the body of her martyred daughter in Alexandria. Their intercession be for us. Amen. The Martyrdom of Saint Negua on this day also, Saint Nerua was martyred. He was from the district of Fayum. He was from the district of Fayum, and he feared God. When he heard the accounts of the martyrs, he went to Alexandria to die for the name of the Lord Christ. He was told in a vision that he must go on. That he must go to Antioch. While he was thinking of how to go there and looking for a ship to embark on, God sent to him his angel Michael, who carried him on his wings from Alexandria to Antioch and set him down before Diocletian. There he, he confessed the Lord Christ. Diocletian asked him about his name and his country, and, he knew what, and when he knew Nehua's story, he marveled at the manner in which he had come. Diocletian offered him much money and many prizes to turn him away from his faith, but Nerua refused. Then Diocletian threatened him, but could not frighten him. Therefore, the emperor ordered that he be tortured in many different, way, different ways. One time, they tortured him by releasing lions to attack him, once by burning him in fire, another by squeezing him in the wheel, and still another time by casting him in the cauldron with, the, with fire under it. Finally, they cut off his holy head with a sword and he received the crown of martyrdom. Saint Nerua became a counterpart for those from Antioch who were martyred in the land of Egypt. It happened that Saint Julius el Akfasi was present at the time of his martyrdom, so he took his body and sent it with two 
of his men to send the worst country with great honor. Their intercession be for us. Amen. The departure of Semina, Bishop of the city of Tamai. Today also, Semina, Bishop of the city of Tamai, El Amdid in Sin Belawen, departed. His father was from the city of Samanut. He was the only son of God-fearing parents. They practiced the works of the monks, such as fasting, prayers, and asceticism, until the report was heard throughout the country. They made their son marry against his will, but he agreed with his wife on keeping their virginity. They remained so, doing so, doing many worships as practiced by monks, wearing sackcloth, and spending most of their nights in prayer and reading the word of God. This sin longed to be a monk, and he discussed it with his wife, saying, It is improper for us to practice the monastic works while, he, while we are in the world. She agreed with him, but he went to the monastery of Anba Antonius to be far away from his parents. They look for they look for Saint Mina to return him back to his wife, and they knew not where he was. From the from there, he went with Anba Mikhail, who who became later on the fifty sixth pope of Alexandria, to the monastery of Saint Macarius, when they became monks. That was during the time of the two great stars Anba Abraham and Anba Gawarga. Father Mina became the disciple. He learned from them, followed by followed the way of their worship and increased in his angelic works until he surpassed in his worship many of the fathers. Satan invited him for his credulous fight and afflicted him in his legs, and he laid flat on the ground for two months. After that, the Lord Christ healed Saint Mina, who overcame Satan with his with the might of God. Later on, he was called for the rank of Episcopat. When the, when the messengers of Patriarch came to him and he knew the reason for the visit, he wept and was sorrowful to leave the desert. The fathers convinced him, convinced him that this was the will of God. He obeyed and went to the messengers to the Patriarch who ordained him a bishop of the city of Tamai. The Lord granted him the gift of healing the sick, the gift of knowing the hidden things, and he knew what was in the mind of people. The bishops of the surrounding districts used to come to him for counseling. People from everywhere came to listen to his teachings. He was the father of four patriarchs, and he laid his hand and he laid his hand upon them upon them when they were ordained. They were they were Anba Alexandros the second, Anba Cosma, Anba Theodore, and Anba Mikhail the first. When the Lord Christ wished him to depart it from this transient world, he informed him, Anba Mina, called the people of his diocese and commanded them to be strong in the Orthodox faith and to keep the divine commandments. Then, they com then he committed them to their, tra to their two separate, the Lord Jesus Christ. And departed from this transitory world to come to Christ, and, and came to Christ, whom he loved. The people wept and mourned to loss of the loss of their shepherd and their father after the Lord, who cared for their souls. They buried him in a fitting manner and laid him in the place and he had directed beforehand. His prayers be with uh, be with us all. Amen. Who? The commemoration of consecration of the Church of the Honorable Saint and Great Martyr Saint George in the city of Leeds. Also on this day is the commemoration of consecration of the Church of the Honorable Saint and Great Martyr Saint George in the city of Leeds. We also commemorate the great wonders and signs the Lord has done therein, which became known throughout the land and sea. When Emperor Diocletian heard the reports of this church, he sent Ephcius, the head of his army, with, sol with soldiers to destroy it. Ephcius came with arrogance 
to work the icon of Saint George, to work the icon of Saint George was, and he began to scoff at the Christians, and this and at the saint. He had a staff in his hand, and which he struck the lamp, which was burning before the icon of Saint George, and he broke it. A fragment of the lamp fell on his head. Fear and great trembling came upon him, and he fell prostrate on the ground. The soldiers came carried him to take him back to his country, for they knew that this had happened to him because of his mockery towards and towards this great martyr. If Kyrgios died on the way back with disgrace, and they cast him into the sea. When Diocletian heard this, he became angry and decided to go himself to this church and destroy it. The Lord bore no longer with him to do what he had determined to do, and he smote him with blindness, and the men of his kingdom rose, ag rose up against him. The Lord took the kingdom away from his from him and placed Constantine, a Rectus Emperor, in his place. Emperor Constantine closed, pa closed pagan temples and opened the churches. The churches and the universe you, you rejoice, especially the Church of the Great Martyr, the Star of the Morning, St. George. His intercession be with us, and glory be to our God forever. Amen.